In this video, I'm going to show you how to set this up. This being, obviously, Dreamcast launched from Kodi via ROM Collection Browser, which is a Kodi add-on available in the official Kodi repository. Super easy to get. Obviously, I have that installed. The Dreamcast emulator of choice for myself was Null DC. I'll show you the emulator specific configuration. I don't have game pads hooked to this machine um, so I'm not going to show you like the game pad configuration but I'll get you 100% there and then other than that you just need to hop in the emulator and configure your game pads. This is not my main machine this is one that I just do testing on so I figured it'd be helpful to show this particular setup. So what I'm going to do first is delete Dreamcast so let me go to delete ROM collection and I don't want PlayStation, I don't want N64 I'm just deleting Dreamcast Dreamcast again, Null DC. I'm not going to Google that for you. Just Google Null DC. It's uh, the emulator of choice of what I would recommend. Download that. You'll have a Null DC folder. That's essentially what I have here, which is this Dreamcast folder. I keep it on my desktop right now for this testing temporary purposes. Um, for housekeeping purposes, put it somewhere else. All you're going to need to do is within the ROMs folder, which I just named Dreamcast ROMs. I'm not sure if that's default get some ROMs. Again, I'm not going to show you how to download Dreamcast ROMs. You need Null DC and you need your Dreamcast ROMs. You also need a plugin called Puru Puru. So you need to add that plugin. And this is for gamepad users. If you're going to play with your keyboard, no big deal. But if you're going to play with a gamepad, you need Puru Puru as a plugin. You'll also want to create a new folder in your Null DC folder, again, which I renamed Dreamcast you'll want to name that uh, artwork or just something that's memorable for housekeeping purposes and that's Dreamcast artwork. So all those images and everything um, those get pulled automatically via the process I'll show you here in a second uh, so I'll go ahead and delete those. The videos don't come through this process so that's why I'm not deleting the videos. So that's all the images and the, the info files which has just the description of the game. Everything you saw in kind of that interface where we launch it via Kodi and ROM collection browser. So you have your artwork file, you have your ROMs, you have your Puru Puru plugin. What you need to do next is open up your null dc.config. So null dc.cfg, just right click on that. I uh, use Notepad for my purposes. I'm using Notepad plus plus. Really can use any text editor, but Notepad works well. Notepad plus plus. Uh, emulator auto start again mine's already configured but you're gonna want one there so emulator dot auto start one emulator dot no console one auto hide menu one full screen one always on top you know my initial recommendation was one on this but that can actually cause complications if you have constant dialog menus that hop above null DC I would change that to one um, but I'm gonna leave it on zero because it actually stays on top of your uh, command prompt so you can't like force quit it via task manager uh, pretty annoying so I'm gonna go ahead and recommend zero on always on top uh, patch region equals one uh, again I'm gonna go with zero so there are some ways I differ and it works for me uh, do what you will and I will reference the source that makes this uh, a little bit easier so you see it in copy to where you can just kinda control F and look it up low default image equals one default image equals default dot GDI last image equals again mine's on my desktop which is my C drive on this machine and uh, what you can do is go to where your ROMs are located so this is really asking for your ROM path of your last image uh, which we need to launch it virtually through uh, Kodi in this instance but also like HyperSoon would need the same here um, so my Dr Dreamcast ROMs folder which would be yours the same uh, right click on it and copy address as text uh, mine's already in there but that's one way to find it otherwise you just need to know it but again it's my C drive users so it's just path to the desktop and then this particular Dreamcast folder here and then the Dreamcast ROMs folder and then within that you just need to do your wildcard or your asterisk dot CDI and that's all we need within this dot uh, CFG file here 
Um, so go ahead and close out of that. And I am going to save this because I don't want that always on top. So I actually made a change on my system here. Uh, other than that, that's all we really need to do. We really don't need to open um, the .exe file, which is the null DC actual execute file. I just know it works on this machine. Um, you'll obviously want to test it and make sure it's working. But for uh, consideration of everyone's time, I'm going to skip that and just get to the configuration within Kodi. So hopping to Kodi, as you can see, I have deleted Dreamcast here. It's no longer here. Uh, so let me just go to all. This is my main view here. I'm going to hit C or context. So I'm on a Windows machine. I think that's apparent by now, but <laughs> may have needed to specify that earlier. And I'm going to add ROM collection. And I'm going to scrape game info and artwork online. Boom. Dreamcast. See, I, lo I love when it's intuitive. Some of this is just not intuitive. Um, so I'm just navigating to my de desktop file where I keep null DC. So this is the execute file. So it's that .exe file, which we'll get to here in one second. So Dreamcast. Again, I just renamed that null DC folder Dreamcast. And null DC win32 release no trace .exe. Boom. And that's my null DC file. Now you actually need to edit your emulator parameters. So you need to set this to be, uh, it's going to be a hyphen, and then all right, hyphen, and then config, so short for configuration, space, image, reader, all one word, colon, default, image, and I'll have links to where this is. You don't need to memorize this, it's kind of nonsense, it's the only time you'll use it. Um, and then we're going to plug in the the same quotation percent. So hyphen config space image reader one word colon default image one word equals and no spaces and all that and no space here either. Quotation percent rom percent quotation. So that's your emulator params. And again, I'll have a resource. Done. Uh, now we need to point to that roms folder which has your roms because you need the roms for this working. So again, this is going to be respective in terms of where yours are all saved and mine are in Dreamcast, Dreamcast ROMs and that's perfect so I'm gonna hit OK there uh, from here we need to do star which is your asterisk, asterisk uh, wildcard dot cdi comma asterisk and just to cover your ass dot gdi and that's gonna, ooh I didn't do asterisk there asterisk dot gdi and then from there we're just going to hit done and dreamcast artwork go ahead and enlarge that again remember i recommend to create an artwork file so just right click new folder in that null dc file whatever you name it and uh, your artwork folder or wherever you want to put your artwork folder just you know again housekeeping keep it clean for yourself and then OK. So it's going to create all those folders that you saw that I deleted earlier in the video because I've already went through the scraping process. Do you want to add another ROM collection? No. And uh, I don't want to rescrape them all because it's going to take forever. It takes, takes so long anyways. Uh, scraping mode. Automatic accurate is my recommended method because my ROM files for myself are really well named. If you question the naming structure of your ROM files, I recommend doing select matches, interact select matches. Uh, really automatic guess matches is garbage and you'll have to clean it up and waste time anyway. So automatic accuracy is what I'm going with. Change scrapers for this run. Uh, remove Moby games. I really don't think it matters what you put there. I'm going to go with Giant Bomb, but remove Moby games because it screws everything up. Import games. This could take 20 to 30 minutes. Alright, so we're back where we started. Which was the whole point. We have Dreamcast set up with the like cover art and the little info and my entire library is in Kodi. It all launches, it integrates. I can step out here and go to all and this will have my NES, N64, PlayStation, NES and then if you go down here we have Dreamcast. So it integrates with everything. Works great. In fact, I'll launch it uh, you can actually configure so that everything quits, uh, run in solo mode, and 
there's a lot of other options you can select. Honestly, pretty dry topic. Hope the video didn't suck. I know there's some useful information there that's useful to somebody. Uh, I enjoy the setup. Again, it's on my other machine. The cool thing is, uh, this actually, I'm not running a dis discrete graphics card in this machine, and I can still run this game. So uh, I don't think you need tons of horsepower to push Dreamcast, but wish you the best in your setting up of Dreamcast launching from Kodi via ROM Collection Browser, Null DC Emulator. Uh, give me a holler if you have any questions.